Uh, from a fan standpoint, every, every time Edmonton plays Calgary, it's, it's a good time for that game. But uh, as a coach, do you like what uh, playing against the Flames brings out in your club? I think you're seeing that in the whole division this year. You know, it's just uh, obviously you've got the provincial rivalry with Calgary and, you know, great history between the two. But you're seeing that with the whole Canadian division, you're going to see rivalry games kind of thing. So, uh, but we haven't... Uh, haven't seen Calgary yet. It'll be be uh, good to get the series going. A bit of a measuring stick game for you guys. Well, we've got ourselves back to 500, so they're all measuring sticks now. Like it's just, like I say, it's a different it's a different field of the year where every game is, you know, you used to talk about four point games within your division. Well, you got every game in your division, so they're all four point games. So, uh, so you know, there's hey, there's excitement of playing Calgary. I mean, they're, they're a good team. We, uh, you know, within our division, we've got to play well, and that's, that's what we're focusing on. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Dave, uh, it's a great luxury to have when you have so many players playing well. Uh, right shot defensemen have uh, been almost like a unicorn for the order's organization <laughs> for many years. Well, now you got four of them. Yeah. And they're really good. I saw uh, late after practice, Ethan Bear was on the left side just practicing, you know, flip outs on his backhand. Um, Bouchard took a few reps there. Is that something you think you'll see, or do you just want to see them all on the right side for the time being? You're watching way closer than I am if that's what they're doing out there. So, uh, you know, it's a good problem to have. We have, uh, we have, you know, depth in our defense, and I think we're going to need that and use it. Um, what it does, it gives me another tool to, uh, you know, if you want to play 11 and 7, you can do that. Um, you're looking, what you're looking for is you have players in the right roles throughout your lineup between power play, penalty kill, and then it gets deeper than that. You get puck movers, defenders. I mean, there's, there's um, a lot more that goes into it, but uh, young Bouchard came in and played well the other night, and uh, so he's put himself in the mix. Just looking at how you ran your practice today, it looked like Bouchard was with Russell and Lagesson and Larson and pretty much all the reps. So those two young guys, because they weren't here last year, what have you liked? They're very different style of defense. Very different style. Leggy is a, a hard player, you know, is a, as if you watch this penalty killing, he's done a pretty good job there. He's a, he's real competitive, you know, and that's, that's the MO on him coming th up through uh, – the organization is very competitive, hard, hard guy in the corner, stuff like that, um, you know. And then Bush is coming in. He's a, he's a puck mover. He's a, you know, a guy that's real poised with the puck. Um, the thing about Bo uh, Bush is his his game, the maturity in, in how he plays and reads situations has has improved. And you saw there's, if you really go through the tape of the game, you'll see some s scenarios that. I think in the past he might have stood and watched, and you know, last game he was anticipating that, understanding the game better. So they're both young players, but they're both good players, and and you know we're going to play people that give us the best chance to win. This isn't the exhibition season; this is the real thing. So you're putting players in there that you feel like you can win with. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, a couple of things, Dave. Uh, how did you think the 11 and 7 went last game? And is there a possibility that Ethan Bear is ready to play on uh, Saturday? And the other question I have is, what have you seen from Darnell Nurse from when you were here last year? It looks like he's just taken the Oscar Clefbaum mantle and uh, as your top left side defenseman. Well, first of all, on Nurse, he's really uh, you know we we needed somebody to step up and take some of those minutes, and not just take the minutes, but take the hard minutes that uh, Clefbaum played. And Nurse has come in, he's in great shape, his leadership is really strong, and he's really taken that responsibility. So, uh, you know, if you look at our whole group, he's one of the guys that has moved, you know, really moved ahead and, and taken his game to a new level, which is great. We need that. You know, we need that that defenseman can play the critical times for you is a, is a, a big factor on your team. Bearsy, I haven't talked to the trainers yet. The goal was him to go out and go through a practice, and then we'll see where he is after practice. Um, but he seemed he seemed fine out there, but I haven't talked to him yet, so we'll see where that takes us this weekend. Well, the 11 and 7, did you like it or no? 
Uh, there was some there was some stuff I liked about it, and then there's some some other stuff. Some of it depends on how much special teams you have, but it gives you uh, it gives you flexibility of roles within the game. So uh, uh, not bad. I'm not ruling it out. You know, we'll just see. It's game to game. Track Michael six thirty Chad. Tiff, I know it's game to game, but could you envision a scenario where you address four right-handed shots, even in a scenario where you only play six, because Jones, Russell, and, and, and Cuckoo obviously can slide over to the right side. I'm curious whether you've given any thought to who might be a candidate to go over to the left, if that's a scenario. We've had lots of conversations with them, but we're just going to take it day by day here until we see there's always injuries happen. There's things that are coming in and out of your lineup all the time, so we'll, uh, we'll take it day by day and Every day we'll try to figure out what's the best chance for us to win. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Uh, Dave, going back to Bouchard and you know his spatial awareness and, and being close proximity to his check is, is something that probably just comes from maturity. But how much of that is just the benefit of being 6'3"? And, and how much does the length of your defenders you know, change and allow you to be a better defensive? Well, you can be a good defender, or a smaller guy, a bigger guy, but the the big guys have. I mean, it's a reach advantage, and can play more space. But that being said, they have to use that reach to their advantage, and they have to know where they are in the space. So I like Bush. He's a he's a big guy, and I like can say you hit the nail on the head when it's maturity of his game and the maturity to read situations, where. In the past, he might stand and try to figure it out. Now he's reacting to it, and he's in good position. And his reach and, and mobility are factors in, in uh, making that, those, those adjustments. It makes him, uh, makes him allow him to be a better player. Last question, Jim Matheson. A couple of things, Dave. Uh, they're taking the glass out behind the, the benches. Is that for, for air ventilation? But what about the clearing the puck over the glass? Now that it's, a, it's a kind of a, where the referees and the linesmen got to get together and say, I think the, the glass is there, that would have been over the glass. And the other question I have for you is, getting back to Darnell, he said to me, he said, the longer you play, you realize, in my case, I tend to run around a little bit when I was younger, and I realize now that that's not the best way. You just stay in your position and you, expend, you don't expend so much energy. Yeah, I think that's that's true. That's maturity, and and you know a little bit what like we're talking about with Bouchard. He just, the, especially in defensemen, they they have a maturity that they understand the game. They, you know, there's different rush scenarios that are coming down on you, different coverage scenarios, and then the other side that that Nursey is really taking a step forward is when to jump and and the maturity of not just going for the sake of going, but going up the ice with purpose and uh, all those things. I'll go back to the defense is a hard position to play here and all those things the more experience you get in doing them and doing them at you know he's done a lot right and over the years there's been a lot of times where it wasn't the right decision but you learn from all those decisions and it becomes a better player and that's what you're seeing out of Nurse right now he's uh, I love his leadership and, and how he's his expectations of her game, his game are higher and we're seeing the benefit of that uh, as far as the glass, I, I, it's, uh, I don't mind the glass coming out behind. It reminds me of the old Maple Leaf Gardens in, in Montreal where the fans were right there all the time, which is not, not wasn't a bad thing. You get some emotion in the game. We won't have fans, but if they need more air blowing, that's, I guess that's what it is. The corners of the, bo of the benches will still act as uh, when the, when the uh, puck goes over the glass. They use those corners kind of as... Uh, uh, barometer so hopefully we don't get in any bad situations like that but uh, it's just it's another one of the protocols that we're looking at every day it seems like there's some adjustments and you have to be willing to roll with it and just adjust as it goes along and hope for the best.